Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Our dog here, welcome to the hunt. Uh, we finally got some rain in this uh, province. After about two months of only one day of rain, I think we've had, uh, we finally got some. So as you can see, it's as smoky as can be, but uh, hopefully this will help with the fires. And it's allowing me to get out for a little beach hunt here. We'll see what we can get up to. New piece of equipment tonight. Finally, this is a sand scoop from CKG Sand Scoops. A carbon fiber handle, two piece. Awesome. I want to thank them. And uh, they've also given us a giveaway. So I've got a little something to give away to one of you guys who is subscribed and leaves a comment on this video. And I'll show you in the wrap up what we're giving away. So first impression, this is a little smaller than the scoop I normally use, which I'm very happy about. Uh, it's nice and light. It's unbelievable how light this thing is. Uh, comes apart really easy for travel. I like the size of the holes. I was kind of concerned that it was going to be small holes and uh, that just doesn't work here. Too much uh, thick mud and uh, rocks and stuff like that. So anyway, we're going to put this sucker through the paces. Hello. <laughs> Little wrap up uh, interrupter there, huh? So anyway, Thank you, CKG Sand Scoops. I will put their e or their um, website in the um, description of the video, so you guys can go check it out. Their prices are really good. They make really strong scoops, and the proof is in the pudding. So let's see what we can get up to. On to the hunt. 18. First victim. Whew. Okay. What have we got here? Okay, that's gonna be an earring. I think that's probably gonna be bling, but we'll check it out. Gotta like starting with a piece of jewelry. Interesting high tone here. Okay, there's a survivor, old green penny. Got a loony under this tree here. I am going to uh, move to another beach. There's a piece of foil, what I thought was a piece of foil here, ringing up. As soon as I touched it, I can see Hmm, that looks really convincing. Little crucifix, okay. It's not broken, I don't think. Okay, we'll check that out, but that has a really good chance of being gold. The only thing freaking me out is this, uh, I guess that's not, I don't know. We'll check that out, that's a good find. That's a pretty fine chain. I mean, I'm probably picking up the crucifix, but uh, Still, good find. 10, 11, yes please. Okay, we got something cool. That uh, is awesome. Sort of like a compass. Oh, that is cool. Okay, that's like a big pendant. That's awesome. All right, I don't think it's precious metals, but it's cool as heck. Let's keep going. On the top of the log now, we got one. Oh, it's a small one, this is good. Oh, it's just a penny. Shield penny, I think. <laughs> I don't know. So loud. 39.
What is that? Is that a dog tag? I mean, I don't want to give out somebody's phone number. Yeah, some kind of homemade dog tag, it looks like. Ray? All right, Ray. Hi, Tone. Uh, it's been a while since I got a key. All right, 1920. All right, underneath the bench, there was a $2 coin, quite deep, but we got her. All right, I hopped into the water here to finish the night. And I got a 27 right here. Oh, okay. Volkswagen bug. Let's keep going. Oh, look at this. This was a really high tone. Some kind of bracelet with a cross on it. Wow. That is interesting. Okay, I'll see if the rest of the chain's down there. I mean, it's all bling, right? But, um... Looks quite old. Looks like it's been in there forever. That's cool. We'll clean that up and find out what it says on it. All right. Got a coin spill in this scoop. Couple of quarters. Shotgun head stamp. Took me about 10 scoops, but we got her. Got a nice one here. Almost done for the evening. We'll live dig this one. I think I got her in here. That is another car. Holy. Fire truck. All right, <clears throat> we got something tangled in the grass here. Sorry. Ring up high. Pretty sure that's just a mood ring, but we will check it out. So that's a good spot to finish for the day. First target on day two. All right. One nickel. I've never heard anything like that. Oh, look at that, little Swiss Army knife. All right. That's awesome. Not too many targets out here tonight, but we don't need much to finish off this video. A couple good items and we'll call it a night. Jumpy mid-tone. Okay, that looks nice. Oh, wow. That is latched, so I'm going to circle around here and see if the other one's here. I've had really good luck with this style of earring, the twisted style of earring. I have found three of different sizes and all were gold. We will check that. Feels a bit light, to be honest. Let's keep going. 2021. All right, there we go. Key. All right, pair of sunglasses in the volleyball pit. Keep going. 
Just hitting a few targets in the grass here before I go. Come on, baby. Ooh. Two bucks. Did not bat on the cloud tonight. Not too much else, but that's how it goes. All right, ladies and gents, welcome to the wrap up. Just before we get to that, um, we've got the giveaway. Um, this is from CKG uh, Scoops, and I will put their email or their uh, website on the screen right about now. So anyway, they got a diggers uh, gave us a diggers pouch here to give away. So all you got to do is be a subscriber, comment on the video. You don't have to spend any money or anything. Um, yeah, and you can win that. And uh, if you're not a metal detector, I realize not everybody watching is a metal detector, you can sub it for this woven silver ring if you like. If you don't need a pouch or don't want a pouch, maybe you just bought a pouch, who knows. So anyway, that's the giveaway. Any comment, we'll do the comment picker on the very next video. And uh, thank you again to CKG. I love the scoop. Um, Everything about it, honestly, it's so much nice, nice having, uh, nicer having the, the lightweight one. I may still use my old battle axe scoop for the real rocky areas and try and save that scoop for, um, for, uh, the more sandy areas, but, uh, whatever. So anyway, let's get on to the wrap up. Oh shoot. I didn't count the clad. Two, four, six, eight, 12, 14, 16, about 17 bucks, 18 bucks in clad. Pretty good. There was enough of that out there. The rest of the targets, uh, this was quite a long two. Uh, two hunts if you add them up So uh, beaches are slowing down a little bit with all the smoke in the area right now people don't really want to lay on the beach and It's like you're smoking a pine tree all day long. So um, yeah, whatever is what it is um, These are Tom Ford sunglasses. I don't know if that's a good name or not I don't think I've heard of it before, but um, they're really cool aviators great shape. No scratches a couple of cars we got a bug and a forest mountains rescue which is kind of fitting with all the fires we got going on and we got two keys a little swiss army knife that's cool a couple little pieces of metal uh, a few pennies let's leave that one to last shotgun shell we've got uh raised dog tag sorry i didn't put a dog at the end of this one but i'll get you on the next one uh, i don't like the videos to get too long especially with a lot of talking so we'll put some dogs in the next one uh that is a mood ring and um yeah bubblegum machine mood ring this thing right here maybe somebody can tell me what this is i'll try and get a good shot uh, i don't know what language that is on there it looks like a compass it's got all the uh directions covered but um, i'm not familiar with that language on there so very interesting find like it very much and um we're gonna do some couple of tests here this is super cool i think this is my favorite find of the day it says uh I can do all, I can do all, I'm trying to read this with my glasses. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Very cool. Looks super old. Uh, that would be brass. The back piece would be brass and then the cross would be copper is my guess. Uh, that little earring's just a blinger. And then we got the two gold contenders here. We got the chain with the little crucifix on there and we got that earring. So let's just test them, see what happens. So we'll go 10K first. The top one is the cross. And the bottom one is the ring. So let's do the... I thought that was going to run down better. i got to lay it flat. The bottom one is definitely not gold. You can see how just that little drip wore it away. And the top one, I'd say, this is one of those tricky ones. It could either be plated. Oh, it's sticking around pretty good. Um, I wouldn't 100% say that's gold because it is moving a little bit. But um, it could be plated or it could be a slightly uh, lower grade than 10K. That's possible too. So anyway... That's where that's at. I'll do a little more research on the necklace uh, or take it in and uh, and get it checked if it's gold. Uh, the chain I know is not gold. The chain sticks to a magnet. So the only hope for gold is that little pendant there. And that'd be awesome. It's super cool. So anyway, that's the hunt. 
Thank you all so much for joining me. See you on the next one.